Okay, so I'm getting ready to do the Gemini reading. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see, what do we have for Gemini? So we have healthy choices. So somebody is practicing self-love. That person is focusing on making um, healthier choices in love relationships um, for their own life. So they're focusing on self-care right now, whoever this person is. And this could be you. You have cassette. So this person is thinking about something. Then you have not today. So if this person is trying to focus like on healthier choices and different things like that, focusing on self-love, taking care of their self, they could have different people that are around them that do the same thing over and over again. And, um, they're just shutting it all out with not today. Like they're not dealing with those type of people. This could have been a pattern that they were in with certain people. And they're like avoiding talking to different people. They've set healthy boundaries with those people. You have the butterfly. This person is focusing on evolving. This is someone that is healing their inner child. Things that they went through when they were like a child um, or in their childhood. This is someone that um, is solely focusing on growth. You have healing heart. This person could have freed their self from a toxic relationship. This could have been some type of addiction as well, but they freed their self. Oh, this, well, this was a relationship. Because this not enough card, it talks about, you know, being frustrated in a relationship. So whoever that person is was somebody that was just not enough for that person. And maybe they were attached to that person because they needed to heal. They could have trauma bond with another person. You have addiction. They could have bond or um, bonded through codependency issues, addictions, and different things like that. And that's the only thing that kept them attached to that person. But once they started making these healthier choices, they got frustrated with that person. They feel like that person is someone that lacks confidence. That person is accustomed to doing things over and over again. This is someone who has an outdated like thinking pattern. It's like they don't focus on um, like the now. That person is constantly like stuck in the past, stuck in their old patterns. And they, yeah, you have coughing. It's like they decided to make a change. They decided to end something out with that person because they felt like something was not going to end if they didn't do it. You have the chaser popping out in the reverse. So yeah, this is someone that is not definitely not um, dealing with any abandonment issues anymore, or they don't want to be attached to someone that um, is very codependent. They're dealing with co um, abandonment issues, different things like that. They also feel like this person is someone that... Um, Could have been only after them because they needed that person for something. And if this was them, like in an energy where they were like the chaser in a codependent relationship, or they ran from something because they were very codependent, they're no longer in the energy of like running from something. So if this person ran from something because they were in fear, they're no longer in fear. 
It's like those issues is something that they're not dealing with anymore. You have change and then you have spiritual awakening. So this person have definitely did like a 360. It's like that person have, they feel good about something that they have done. And this is something that they needed to do for their self in order to grow or see, you know, growth in their life. But they're happy about something that they've got enlightened about. This person could have got enlightened about their spiritual path. You have breakup. And then you have snake. So they got enlightened about whoever the person is that they've separated themselves from. They found out this person was like a hidden enemy. This person was deceiving them. So they're happy about this. Because if they didn't find out about this, maybe that person wouldn't have made, you know, any changes. They wouldn't have stopped to think that they needed to make healthier choices. You have storm warning. And then you have truth. So they found out this person had um, created a lot of obstacles. They kept up a lot of drama. This person was doing a lot behind the scenes like something got revealed about this person you have heartbreak yeah some type of shock and truth could have came out about this person and um they were embarrassed or disappointed so they just disappeared you have ghosted and heartbreak yeah, they could have like disappeared, disconnected from the outer world. They're not attached to a lot of people after um detaching from that person. As I say, they've been solely just focusing on growth. You have healing. So nobody possibly don't know what this person have been up to because they haven't heard from that person. They're not dealing with people. They've just been focusing on their self, but they've went through a healing phase. Like this is some a spiritual healing um phase that they have went through. You have divine intervention, and then you have unfinished business. And you have toxic relationship. So this person, they feel like whoever the person is that they were attached to, there was some type of unfinished karma with them and that person. And this could be why they were going back and forth with this person. It was some type of pattern. This could have been past life karma that traveled to this lifetime. And this is because of these codependency issues or some type of um, wound that they needed to heal from childhood trauma. You have magnetic attraction. Now, while they were attached to whoever this person is, this is someone who have um, a magnetic pull, like a magnetic attraction towards you. You have anxiety. And then you have hookup. This person is stressed out. If this is somebody that you have not heard from, Maybe this person is someone that um, ghosted you in the past and they're hurt because they found out the person that they were attached to caused some type of deception to try to separate you and them in the past. And um, this person could be stressing out about you hooking up with other people. You have secret crush. So this is definitely someone that have been secretly admiring you. But they ended up going through some type of karma. And this is why you have not heard from that person. Like they had to separate from someone that they did not know was um, very deceptive. And they also had to end out different things that they did repetitively. Like, as I say, this person could have shared um, some type of addiction, addiction or toxic trait with this person. 
And that's the only reason why they were attached to that person. You have the King of Cups. So this is someone who definitely have emotions about you. You have the Ace of Swords. And then you have the Knight of Wands. Now that this person has found out the truth, you have the Queen of Wands. They're very, um, very excited about either saying something to you or expressing something to you. This could be speaking their mind to you. But they feel like now is a good time for them to do something that they've been wanting to do. You have the two of wands. This is someone who needed to, um, and then the nine of pentacles. Yeah, this person see that you're someone that, um, it's like they're very focused on you. Maybe this person is worried about you um, hooking up with other people. But you could be someone that have been single for a long time and you're just focusing on you. You're focusing on accomplishments. This could be goals. Um, you're just focusing on your own stability. You could be someone that went through a lot. But you're definitely someone that have been single for a while. This could be celibacy. You have the five of pentacles popping out in the reverse. Somebody is recovering from um, like a financial hardship. Then you have the empress. And then the two of cups. This is someone that is determined to come back towards you, reconnect with you. You have the High Priestess. And then the Eight of Swords popping out in the reverse. It's like this change needed to happen. And um, they needed to get out of some type of situation where they felt stuck. Or they needed to put up this block, like a boundary. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And then the Three of Swords. And then you have the Four of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that feels like they did something to... If, okay, so if this person ghosted you, that person have been hurt ever since. Like they have felt this emptiness or something like that. The Three of Swords talks about separation. So if this is someone that you've been in separation with for a long time, this could definitely be your twin. This could be your divine counterpart. Like this is your Two of Cups. Now, they possibly was not aware of this, but they found out. Now they're more aware. And this has um, inspired that person to make some type of change. They've been gaining wisdom about um, the Twin Flame journey. Yeah. You have the, the moon card popping out in the reverse. So they found out the truth. Um, they definitely found out the truth about some type of deception. And this was something that they needed to get enlightened about. This um, twin flame connection that they have with you and the person that they were attached to. And it's not necessarily that person. It's like something that they need.